Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare, your one and only favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I brought you know who with me. Psychic. Psychic Damien. Today we're over here at Arrow Peak by TriPoint Homes, a new community over in the northwest part of the valley off of Kyle Canyon Road and the 95. This is called Kyle Point, and there's also in this community um, Alpine Ridge. Alpine Ridge has done so well that they pretty much sold out or they have a huge wait list. Not sold out, but they have very limited homes available because those homes are freaking awesome. So we're going to take a tour of the plan three and this one is 2337 square feet with three to four bedrooms, three bathrooms and a two car garage. Base price starting at $560,000. That is just the base price. It does not include lot premiums or the elevation. So as a uh, real quick, I need to talk fast. The elevation means the different roof lines. So you have like, this is more contemporary. That one's more modern. And then the mid-century modern is the one with the asymmetrical roof line. So let's go inside real quick. Then we can talk more about what's going on over here at Arrow Peak. I love this. This is nice. I love that they do these outdoor living and it's on the side of the house and this beautiful fireplace. Now, granted, your house is not gonna look like this. However, it's, you get very good design inspirations, right? And then you also have access from a patio door and then the nice big blue door. I just love how they, their design architecture is beautiful. This is how I would like to have my outside living quarters, right? So there is no HOA in this, I'm sorry, there is an HOA. It's only $74 a month. However, there are no SIDS or LIDS. Let's do a quick pan. Wow. I don't know which one I like better. They're all very nice. So let's go to the left. Um, let's see what this is. And this is actually luxury vinyl flooring. It looks like ours. Yeah, it looks like the sh uh, shop floors. Yep. Um, I don't think ours is wider though. Looks yeah. like Shaw floors, but you have this nice closet right here. And then as you walk to the right, you have a full bathroom. And then you have a bedroom. Very nice, decent sized bedroom. And it has the puck lighting or the LED lights, whatever you want to call it, and pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Now, they do have three move-in ready homes. Um, and when I mean by move-in, they will be ready in the next couple of months. All floorings have been selected. All options have been selected for that matter. But the flooring is getting put in right now as we speak. Um, and they have a move-in ready of, for each plan, one, two, or three, if you want to learn more always call me at 702-370-5112. I really like this. So this one is saying that you could have the fourth bedroom here instead of the flex space, but I actually like the flex space better because since this is a single story home, this could be kind of like your loft area in a way. Um, but a fourth bedroom is nice as well, but you know, it's whatever your preference is, right? Then you also have a bedroom back here with its own ensuite, which is an added bonus, don't you think? Yes. And it seems like the models only have the generic tub shower insert, which is nice. So you can see what it actually looks like. Now the hardware is an upgraded option. And I don't know if these move-in ready homes will have what types of upgrades. That's something I can learn for you though. And this is a decent size third bedroom. Now, um, they're having what's called their pick your path savings event. You have to put 10% down. Um, but if you finance, it's either with their move-in ready homes or um, build from ground up. You get 5.75% interest rate the first year, 6.75% the second year, and 7.75% years 3 through 30 fixed interest rate. And you have to use the TriPoint home loans and in order to qualify for these savings. And they're only having it in this community and a couple select TriPoint communities. FYI on that. Um, what else, what else? Oh, so they do have a plan three before we get to look at anything else. 
They do have a plan three ready for sale right now at 636519. And um, if you want to learn more and what options have been selected, you know who to call. Call me. So let's take a peek at this. I like this one. Which one are you liking better? I think the second one so far. Really? I liked yeah. this plan two, which is the first one we looked at. This is nice though. Look how big this island is. And you can probably fit one more chair there. Yeah, this is really large. And the white shaker cabinets with the gray quartz countertops. And they did the waterfall, which, you know, I don't know why they would do a waterfall on a plain Jane quartz countertop. You know, yeah. traditionally um, or typically the waterfall's done on those ones with the beautiful graining or beautiful veining. Um, so they have the white shaker cabinets here, and I've noticed in these model homes, they did not upgrade the cabinets with the soft close. What else is an upgrade in here? Um, center sliding glass door at Great Room, which would be this one. They only have the, the standard one. You could get one that's in the middle. I kind of like it this way, so you can put more furniture. Um, sliding glass door at dining room. That's actually an upgrade, which that makes sense to have, I think, don't you? Yes. Very um, let's take a peek what's back here. The laundry room. Um, and usually like this is an upgraded option with the sink and the laundry room. Now, when you do buy new construction, the washer, dryer, and refrigerator typically do not come with the house. If you do want it, then when you build from ground up, you can go to the TriPoint Design Studio and they have an appliance package where you pick the different upgraded appliances like you have the GE or the monogram or the profile. So um, when you build from ground up, you're going to go to the design studio with TriPoint Homes down in the southwest. You're going to pick your electrical package if you want alarms, if you want extra puck lights like these LED lights, if you want pendant lighting, um, how thick of baseboards do you want, the wall texture that you want, <laughs> uh, the countertops, the cabinets, the backsplash, the bathrooms, etc. So it's a fun day or two that you spend at the design studio picking all these options. Uh, the nice thing about the move-in ready home is that you've already had someone pick those options for you and you don't have to stress about going to that design studio, which is a lot of work, you know, and then the flooring, right? Um, so they have beautiful, this is one of the ones that we try to get our clients to get, but they got a different color. This is a LVP, a luxury vinyl plank flooring, which looks extremely well, don't you think? Love this big dining room and I want to know where to get these pictures this is an upgrade right here, obviously. Um, typically, the primary bedroom and the great room come pre-wired for a ceiling fan. And then when you go to that design studio, I highly suggest that you make sure that all other rooms have the pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Because after the fact, it's usually more expensive and a pain in the rear to do, right? Mm -hmm. Also, you know, you don't want to skip out on your electrical package, right? Um, put as many puck lights, LED lights as possible as you can, because again, after the fact, it's not fun. It's more expensive and much more messier, right? We just did that and yes, it was very messy. Did I talk about HOA? I think I did. If I didn't, it's $75 a month and it's gated and there's no SIDS or LIDS. This is right off of Kyle Canyon on the way to Mount Charleston. And it's done very well. Talus by KB Homes is right next door. And they've done very well. It's a little more affordable than Summerlin. This house in Summerlin would probably be $900,000. <laughs> yes. um, this primary bedroom is very good size. The ceilings feel like, they feel like nine, nine? foot. Yeah. I'll have to look and see. They don't feel that tall, but it feels okay. Mm -hmm. And then here's the primary. So the primary spa shower right here is an upgrade. And it has its bench as well. And uh, separate vanities, which is nice. And this is a leather finish quartz countertop, a honed finish. And I like the separate vanities. I wish they kind of would made this part like we, uh, the ladies can sit and do their makeup, right? And then your throne room. 
size of these tiles. Yeah, these are nice tiles. Very little grout lines you have to worry about. As, and then that's an upgrade. Yeah. The herringbone, everything in here, the, the matte black it um, is an upgrade. Those are typically come with like a chrome. Another thing that's upgrade is your faucets. All the hardware is upgraded. And so when you go to the design studio and you pick all these options and you see the price, you're like, holy smokes. <laughs> then you have to start like dwindling down what you don't really need and get it later. <laughs> right? Um, you know, a lot of people say when you buy new construction, get the generic stuff and then you can change it out. Trust me, we just went through a remodel five months and it is not cheaper to do it that way. If I were you, I would have all the upgrades selected during at time. That way you don't have to deal with it later in the future. It's don't done. you think it's done? We really like it. Yeah. And then also the different, um, baseboards, the thickness, this looks like five inch mm -hmm. thick base square baseboards. That's also an upgrade. But that's why it's always nice, too, to buy a move-in ready home where you don't have to think of this stuff. And all options have been selected by a professional. I think that's actually a cool way to go. When you buy new, too, you get like a... Yeah, it's brand new, yeah. And this has a pool, which we can't look, and it is beautiful. It looks bigger than 600 square feet. Yes, it is. This is not the standard lot. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the pool size. The standard pool oh, size no, is 600 square not, feet. Could, well, maybe, right? Let's go... That's pretty big. Yeah. You can't go over 600. No. Let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan. And if you watch the other videos of this community, let me know what your favorite floor plan is. Right now, I think mine is plan three um, or plan two. And yours is? I like the second one, the uh, plan two. The one, the last one we the were just one. in? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't I like, like that angles. one. I like the angles. I like the angles. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I don't know if I said this because I've been doing lots of videos lately and I just forget what I say in each of these videos. Um, one message I do need to say is when you do come look at these models, I need to be with you on the very, very first, first visit, visit and register you. They have a sign as soon as you walk into this community. Your agent needs to be with you on the very first visit in order to register. If you do come on your own, then put a fake name. Um, otherwise, once you register, I will not be able to assist you. And I am free. She's free and she wants to work in your corner. Exactly, I'm here to help you um, navigate the home buying process in Las Vegas as smoothly as possible. So you can call me at... Oh, 702. 370-5112. All right, folks. I need you guys to do me one more favor. I need you to smash, smash that, that like button. button. Most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by year's end, and I need all the help I can get. I've been doing this for a long time, and I want my channel to be at 10,000. That's the goal, <laughs> right? All right, guys. See you on the next one. Have a beautiful day.